a la edad de la vejez de 69 años, su divina gracia hace Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada abordó un navío de carga rumbo a América. Como ningún otro habría venido, él arribó solo con unos pocos dólares, un baúl con libros y un sueño. Pero él no tenía un sueño usual de liberación, fama o fortuna. Srila Prabhupada tenía una completa visión para la reespiritualización del entero mundo occidental. Él transformó la conciencia materialista predominante en el occidente por trasplantar las antiguas tradiciones religiosas de India, primero a América y luego a todo el mundo. Las semillas que este hombre de azafrán plantó tomaron raíz inmediatamente y fructificaron en un movimiento internacional que extendería su influencia a la vida de miles de personas. En solo 12 años, de 1965 hasta que falleció en 1977, Sila Propa circunvaló el globo 14 veces, predicando, haciendo discípulos y fundando centros para el estudio y prácticas de la conciencia de Krishna. En ese tiempo él escribió y dirigió la publicación de cerca de 80 volúmenes de traducciones y comentarios de textos sagrados que forman la base del pensamiento religioso y filosófico de India. Sus libros provocaron una profunda impresión en las comunidades académicas de todo el mundo. Hoy se encuentran traducidos en más de 40 idiomas y son vendidos en cantidades de 20 millones por año. Todo lo que Srila Prabhupada obtuvo fue el producto de su simple determinación de presentar la ciencia de la autorrealización y hacerla tanto entendible como asequible, inclusive en un mundo creciente en valores materiales. Por su prédica incansable, Conceptos espirituales fundamentales como vegetarianismo, karma y reencarnación se han vuelto ampliamente entendidos y aceptados. Su éxito remarcable se debió en su gran parte a su ocupación personal en el trabajo de prédica. Srila Prabhupada fue exitoso porque con su vida y personalidad marcaría el camino correcto para que otros sigan. Él podría ofrecer a cualquiera que se acercara, no solo la teoría, sino una manera práctica de vivir, y en cada momento, él era un verdadero acharya, que enseña a otros con su ejemplo. Krishna is son. Amen. Mm. Krishna Surya Samo. So, and Krishna son is there. All these glow arms. Lightning. When we finish. Keep this sun always shining. Then this glow arms will be finished. in a new book uh, about the evolution of man and they were saying that there was approximately two million varieties of life on this planet. This was the calculation of the scientists. Two million? Mm -hmm. No, eight million. All right. <laughs> you were saying the other day that all the species of life were mentioned in the Padma Purana. Yeah. They're all given a count of Is it divided by country or within one country there are many species? You are taking up country, but just the taste of the planets. Mm. Part of the country. Your idea is very simple. Country. National. But Hastar is not, there is no 
such thing as rational. They take the whole universe as a whole. They consider from that angle of Krishna. One planet or universe, like let's say last night you called us to start how this planet can be governed by one king. It was being actually done. And the whole universe is being governed by Brahma, one person. So one must know how to govern. It's like we have got different GBCs for different jobs. Similarly, they are doing their duty nicely. All these planets are the different uh, residential water, different level of They are controlling the whole universe. In comparison to them, the human being is nothing. The good chance of realizing God in the universe. Just like uh, difference between Western countries and India, uh, India has a very quick chance of realization of God. The atmosphere is so nice. So, this planet is good for God's realization and the best place is in India. So, in this planet, everybody is meat eating. In this country, everybody is performing sinful. Everybody is decreasing. The more you are becoming sinful, the land will decrease. So it is decreasing now. Yeah. And at the end, there will be no rain. The, this whole planet will be ablaze with fire. That is the beginning of destruction. There will be scarcity of rain and scarcity of food grains. The best thing is, at night there must be heavy rain, at daytime there should be sunshine. Then the uh, field will be very parted. That is knowledge. But they have no knowledge. They simply want to enjoy. They do not care for death also. Uh, simply sense care. That's this is called Dhanab. Dhanab. They say originally there was just a, a cell and by adaptation, in some circumstances, one kind would live and another would die. So all these varieties adapted to different conditions. Who adapted? Well, they just Who managed? Accidentally. Uh, that is nonsense. Nothing happens accidentally. That is nonsense. There must be some arrangement. What is happening here is accidentally. Why, why you are taking care of these trees? So many things. Nothing is done accident. If accident is there, let accident come and I become rich man. Why do they try? Why do they go to the college? Let accidentally become a man. This is all asking. that he's chanting Hare Krishna a little in the shower now. <laughs> <laughs> when he takes a shower, he chants a little more. One press reporter in the Berkeley University in the beginning, he wrote his article and he read that after hearing this Hare Krishna for a few minutes, I came home chanting all the road Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. <laughs> So when we conquer over these base qualities, uh, then we become happy. Tadarudastamo bhava kamalo bhava yastriji chita etami anavidyam. When the consciousness is not influenced by these base qualities, chita etami anavidyam shakti prasindati being situated on the platform of Satogun, 
he feels happy. That is the beginning of spiritual life. When so long the mind is disturbed by lusty desires and greediness, there is no question of spiritual life. See, therefore, the first business is how to control the mind uh, so that it may not be influenced by the base quality, lusty desires and greediness. We have seen in Paris old man, seventy-five years old, is going to the night club because the lusty desire is there. He pays fifty dollars for entering the club and then he pays further for other things. So even he is seventy-five years old, the lusty desire is there. I follow the spiritual sky at once or at different times, or are there any souls that are Always good, they're not foolish. They don't no, they are, majority, ninety percent, they're always good. They never fall down. So we're among the ten percent? Yeah. Does or less know? than that. The, the, the material, whole material world, all the living entities, they're just like in the prison uh, house. There are some populations. But they are not majority. The majority of the population, they are outside the prisoner. Similarly, majority of living beings, part and parcel of God, they are in the spiritual world. Only a few falls down. Does Krishna know ahead of time that a soul is going to be foolish and fall? Krishna? Yes, Krishna may know because he is omniscient. Are more souls falling all the time? Huh? Not spirit? all the time, but there is the tendency of all that. Not of our all, but because there is independence, everyone is not liking to misuse the independence. The same example. It's like a government constructing a city and construct also prison house. Because the government knows that somebody will be criminal. So their shelter must be also constructed. It is very easy to understand. Not that same person population will be criminal. But government knows that some of them will be. Otherwise, why they construct prison house also? One may say, where is the criminal you are constructing? The government knows, oh, there will be criminal. So if the ordinary government can know, why God cannot know? Because there is tendency. The origin of that tendency is? Yes. From where does the tendency tendency means the independence. So everyone can know that independence means one can use it properly, one can misuse it. That is independence. Therefore, it is the duty of the human being how to control the mind not act like cats and dogs. That is human being. You should be inquisitive. Why uh, this happening? Why this happening? And it should take education. That is human life. That is the difference between human being and dog. Like 
that's what basic injunction is. Go and inquire. You have got this human form of life. Atata Brahma Jignasa. Now this is the time for inquiring about the soul. Tadvi Gana Thamsa Guru Meva Aviyachi. If you want to understand this science, then go to proper Guru and take lessons from him. The same thing as we instruct our children, if you want to be educated in the higher status of life, go to school, go to college, take lessons. That is human society. The dog's father will never ask the dog, child, go to school. No, they are dogs. The hippies are dissatisfied with the method of modern materialistic way of life. Is it not? They have voluntarily given away their positions and huh? they, they have chosen to Voluntarily, they are giving us positions. Sit down. So they were prepared? No, they misguided. They want to have something new, but uh, <coughs> They are not accepting what is actually better. Some of them are accepting. But there is frustration, there is no doubt. There is no doubt. Is there? Frustration. Frustration. Yes. This we are materialistic way of life, like their fathers, grandfathers. They do not like. Is it not? Huh? I think so. Yes. In Los Angeles, do you live? Do you live in uh, richness? Do you have a, a car and a chauffeur and a, Why a not? yacht? I am I'm the guru of the richest country. Why shall I not have car? You follow? No, I don't. <laughs> if I am guru of the richest country. Then why shall I not have a car? So you, you have one? I have many. In each center I've got at least one dozen cars. <laughs> <laughs> Just now I'm coming from uh, Europe, Germany. They have got nineteen bars. Nineteen. The whole interior villages. The Volkswagen, what is called Volkswagen? Oh, sorry, sorry. Bus. Bus, bus, yes. <laughs> so, uh, our devotees are packed up in each bus and they go in interior in the village. Similarly, in every center you have <clears throat> In Germany, in England, in Los Angeles, in New York. Here also? Yes. There's nine vehicles here. Huh? Nine, nine. Yes. Nine vehicles in Chicago? Yes. Some spiritual leaders of, of various groups uh, live in great richness with a chauffeur and uh, uh, expensive cars and boats. Yes. What about you? And because I know you are envious, therefore I don't sit here. I'm sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> You are very envious when a spiritual master is honored very nicely by his disciples. You become envious. What can you do? But that is the um, etiquette. The spiritual master is honored as good as God. But if people do not know, you become envious. Why this man is sitting in this position, in this gorgeous way? Why he? What can be done? The same clock. But the tailor, according to the body, made a covering of this hand 
and this looks like a hand. This covering of the chest looks like a chest. Therefore, the impersonal means the material cover. Otherwise, the spirit soul is personal. You say, go to the tailor. According to your body, the tailor will cut a coat. This coat, ingredients of the coat, the cloth, that is impersonal. But it is made like a person, covering of the person. In other words, the spirit soul is person. As much as God is also person. In person means recovering. Try to understand. The covering is impersonal, not the uh, living being who is covered. He is not impersonal. He is personal. Very simple example. The coat shirt is impersonal, but the man who is putting on coat on, he is not impersonal. He is personal. So, how God can be impersonal? The material energy is impersonal. That is explained. That, that is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Maya tatamidam sattvam jagat abhaktam This jagat is of bhakta, impersonal. And that is also energy of Krishna. Therefore he says, I am expanded in the impersonal form. The impersonal feature is Krishna's energy. So the material Covering is impersonal, but the spirit soul or the super soul is personal. Any question in this? This very intricate question. Anyone? He said, how would we react if someone breaks in and tries to rob the building? A rob? A thief. What would we do if a thief came in? In other words, the so we beat him. You shall punish him. You shall be violent. Why not? It, it should be punished. You will punish yourself. What will you do? Will you just start attacking him? No. Oh. Our sir, right? anyone, a thief has, is to be punished. A thief has to be punished. Our sir, or right? your sir, it doesn't matter. A thief is thief. He should be punished. And what if he breaks in because he's hungry? Who oh, bet? He says, what if he breaks in because he's hungry? Hmm? What if he becomes in as a thief because he wants to... And we, we said, everyone come and eat. Why he should remain hungry? Mm -hmm. We are invite everyone, come here and mm -hmm. eat. No charge. We don't charge. So why should he remain hungry? Let us increase this program. All hungry men of Melbourne city, come here. You take your eating, sensuous. Invite, come on. Why you should remain hungry? Because, so they, because they have made a department just like your. What is the department? Social welfare. Social welfare. So if they find social welfare, why not help? Why they bring politics? If actually there is social welfare here, why they should not support it? Yeah, well you are right. But in our society, minister is elected to carry out certain policies. Not what he wants, but what the people sort of voted for. And say so our tax to support... And if your policy is social reformation... Social reformation is not our policy. Then 
social welfare. To just to look after those who are in trouble. Mm. That's our point. Well, everyone is in trouble. Why? Right? At the present moment, even the ministers are in trouble. Yes, but that is not what our function is. <laughs> Everybody is in trouble. Physician heal thyself. You see? They are also drunkards, they are also woman hunters, <laughs> and meat eaters, and gambling, that's all. They require to be yeah. rectified. But they can't help that. That society, you have to go and change society, since society tells us to act. Now, unless you change the society, how you can make social welfare? Well, so if you keep step- them as it is, there is a question of welfare. We give it a different interpretation to the word. In the how is it? I, I don't Does understand me. Basically, yes. basically okay. one must be first class ideal man. Yeah. That is one. That's why it's so very difficult. You have to work on your own and only you have to see that you have freedom to work. You and if you convince out, enough people you know, to go your own. Our own program. It is not box properly. You find out fault with us. Huh? You find out what is our fault. I then can't you see can any see. fault. Then, then you can disagree. But when you see everything is nice, how you are not accepting? Unless you are biased. Of course I am biased. I have been brought up differently. Yes. That's just like our... Because you are biased against my life. No, we are not biased. We just say, have an that's just like we are not biased. We are allowed. Ah, we say that start. if you want to be first class man, then you must not commit sinful activities. Hmm. That is our problem. But I, I, as a public servant, I am not here to change society. But society is also me public. What we, are, we belong to the public. You must become our servant also. Yeah. But we are public, members of the public. Yeah. So you should become our servant also, if you are public servant. A public servant is a, in our philosophy, is a man who serves the minister elected by the people. And this way he serves the public. Yeah. And what the public decides... Yeah, just like we are proposing here, I am not proposing, Krishna says, that one must be peaceful. But how to become peaceful? If his mind is always disturbed, how he become pe- can become peaceful? Because, right? So that is the secret of success. You want to make people peaceful, but you do not know how to make him peaceful. Yeah. So therefore you have to adopt this. Uh, you have a competitive society. Yeah. We say that you chant Hare Krishna, eat here sumptuously, Live here comfortably and you become peaceful. Mm. It is guaranteed. If anyone, even a madman, agrees to this, this principle, that let him chant Hare Krishna mantra, mm. take whatever nice food stuff we prepare, take and live peacefully. He will be peaceful. What's your answer that still such a small percentage? Of the population, a tiny percentage right. of the population. No. Except the philosophy that sounds so tiny right. Tiny percentage, just like <coughs> there are so many stars in the sky yeah. and there is one moon. In percentage, the moon is nothing. If you take percentage of the stars, the moon is nothing. But moon is important than all the nonsense stars. <laughs> This is the example. Yeah, well, See, what is the use of taking percentage of the stars in, in the presence of moon? Let there be one moon that is sufficient. There is no question of percentage. One ideal man. That's why in Christian world, one ideal let Jesus Christ. How do you feel about Mahat Chetung? Huh? What is that? This is how do you feel about Mahat Chetung? In China, he's an ideal man. He's a communist. His ideal is all right. In China, he is. Uh, his ideal, communist idea, mm. that everyone should be happy. That is good idea. Mm. But they do not know how to make a place like they are taking care of the human 
me in this state, but they are sending poor animals to this land because they are godless. So for the uh, satisfaction of the tongue of the human being, the animal should be cut through. But that's how it is. So what can we do? Then hopeless. Oh, you can. You can work on the cat. So we are going without depending on this rascal. Yes. We are publishing our books. We are making our movement. We are honestly trying. That's all. Dr. Gerson has promised that he'll read every single one of your books before he writes his book. He's very That's serious. Very kind of. We have got about 50 books. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. <laughs> and it is increasing. <laughs> Perhaps in the next two months, it will increase another 17 books. When a person came first, he was doing some drugs or some nonsense, and now that he's taken the Krishna consciousness, he's become so much more of a healthy and wholesome that person. That is the test. That is the test. That is the real test. How, uh, how we got so many devotees from the hippie group. So how they have given up all their bad habits. This but is the that real test. So the function of this testing is to show that and that change takes place in a way that other scientists will accept it. That is the purpose. Oh, that's nice. And that is already admitted by educated class. Therefore, they are becoming attractive. Well, there are still many who aren't familiar with the yes, movement, and I, I hope to uh, familiarize But them. I say that even there is something wrong, it is not impediment. They are making propaganda that these American devotees, they are CIA. <laughs> <laughs> this propaganda is very strong in India, making the people against these American boys who are preaching. I would like to show them a path so that they won't be cheated any but longer. You, provided you know the path. I'm trying to learn. So, first of all, learn it. Otherwise, you'll be cheating. If you do not know the art, and if you want to uh, do some benefit to the others, then there is cheating. <laughs> Suppose a physician, he does not know what is the medical side, and if he wants to become a physician, that is cheating. Walk. <laughs> I, I hope through the study that I'm doing with the devotees and the books that comes out of it, that it will help them not be cheated any longer and show them the right way. He's advising his patients that they should chant Hare Krishna and come to the temple. Then it is well. <laughs> <laughs> Then you are friend. Another thing I would like to do is, is go to Gurukul and test the children and show what NBC did was very false and unfair. In television, they did a very bad story on Gurukul. Yes, that. The cheater. Mm. He wants to cheat and get some money. That's all. He wants because the whole so-called human society is combination of cheater and cheated. So anyone who is acting without Krishna consciousness, he is a cheater. And anyone who is thinking himself at once without Krishna consciousness, he is cheating. This is the basic truth. I mean Krishna consciousness, not consciousness.
ಸದಾವಾನ ಲೀಲೋಕ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ತಲ್ಲನ ಗುಣಾನ್ನವಶ ಸಂದೇ ಗುರಸೀಚರಣ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭೂ ಕೀರ್ತನ ನಿತ್ಯ ಗೀತ ಬಾಧಿತ್ರಮನ ಸೋರಸೇನ ರಮಾಂಚಕಂಪಾಸುತರಂಗಭಾಜೋ ಬಂದೇ ಗುಡಚೀಚರಣ ಶಾರದಾವಾನಲೀರಲೋಕ ಜಾನಾಯ ಪಾರಿನ ಘನಾಘನ ಸಕಲ್ಯನ ಗುಣಾರ್ನವಶ ಬಂದೇ ಗುರಚೀಚರಣ ಹಾರಾಧನ ನಿತನ ಸಿಂಗಾರ ತನ್ಮಂದಿರ ಮಾಜನಾದ ಶಿವಿಗ್ರಹಾರಾಧನ ನಿತನ ಸಿಂಗಾರ ತನ್ಮಂದಿರ ಮಾಜನಾದ ಭಕ್ತಾಂಶನಿಜಂಜತೋಪಿ ಬಂದೇ ಗುರಚೀಚರಣಭಕ್ತಾಂಶನಿಜಂಜತೋಪಿ ಬಂದೇ ಗುರಚೀಚರಣ ಸಂಸಾರದಾವಾಲೀರಲೋಕಾ 